Hello everybody, I'm back with another card for this Halloween um, play challenge. Um, I am now going to be working on this beautiful die, which is the big cobweb die. Um, I have a video with the haunted house done, I have another one with the owl done. Um, please go ahead and check them out if you haven't done so. So I was totally excited to get this die. Look how big it is. It is gorgeous and it's so intricate and uh, I was really excited. So um, definitely I knew it was going to be too big to go the usual way. Um, I'm just showing you now it's going to hang off on either side so it's about four and a half inches wide. So I thought it would be great to uh, turn the car over on into a horizontal position and do a horizontal kind of card and it pretty much takes up you know almost that whole front so it's gonna be good you guys. Alright so um, first thing we do here is I'm going to get some watercolor paper that's going to be my card front it's going to go on just like that and um, I'm going to move everything to the side and I am going to get started now for the first two cards I did an, an amazing organized blending technique with this one I am doing the uh, smooching technique and I have got some oxides here I've got candied apple and I've got this is frayed burlap so for the first one I am just spraying down some color and I am drying it off with my heat tool just getting a little bit of color um, down basically into the background. Now <laughs> this is gonna look really bad. I in my head I don't know why but I just saw red so I, I don't know if you're gonna call this a crime scene or <laughs> or if it's maybe just um, a lot of candy came off the candy apple and splattered all over the floor whatever you want to say it's fine <laughs> but I did want some red in the background I I saw red and black in my head when I um, was studying this dye and I, I want to see if I can achieve um, what my mind kind of wanted you know sometimes your mind wants something and whether or not you can achieve it is something else so I know right now it's looking like a hot mess. I know, I know. Um, it's looking like a crime scene and uh, I do, like I do get scared when I'm making these and I'm like, oh my goodness, what do I do? Just keep going, just keep going, I tell myself. Um, so here we go now with the black soot. I am spraying a little bit and then um, smooching a little bit and then drying. So there's this um, kind of uh, process that just keeps layering on top. You just have to be careful not to do too much black because um, it kind of covers up um, what you previously did and when everything goes on there wet it looks quite stark but after you dry it or dab it off it, it doesn't look too bad so I know at the moment you're thinking what is this ever going to be um, but basically you're just having fun you're making a background so you know it's it's going to be all right I promise as long as you have something in mind it's going to turn out okay and because you don't know what's going to be in my mind you're kind of like what is going on so um, I'm just finishing off the last bits here and just cleaning up after of my mess and uh, yes okay so here we go so I've cut out the dye and this is what it looks like so it's like stark white so I wanted it to be like you're in a um, kind of really dusty old attic or or cellar and it's just all dark and I don't know why there's red on the floor too much spilled candy I think or syrup from the candy apple maybe I'm not sure maybe blood on the floor because there might have been an accident I'm not sure <laughs> and it, it was forgotten and the cobwebs came now I did uh, miss some footage here I'm sorry I didn't record early enough but all I did here was I added um, a spider from one of my um, ephemera pack and if you see on the bottom left hand corner there is a fly when I bought this it's a plastic uh, fly when I bought this I thought they were um, spiders and when I went home they had wings so they turned out to be flies 
um, but that's okay because it works anyways. So from that My Mind's Eye ephemera pack, I have um, a little tag there that says boo to you. And so what I wanted to do was, so I found this other little speech bubble that says eek and a little bit of a sticker from the Tim Holtz Halloween um, stickers that says uh, the uninvited guest or an uninvited guest, which I think is hilarious. So, um, you know, uh, the fly came over and the spider is like, who's this? I didn't invite you. So, um, and then you can just imagine that the spider, the fly sees the spider and goes, oh my god, spider, because everybody's scared of spiders. So it freaked out and went, eek. So what I decided to do is I wanted to switch the roles up. I wanted it to be like the spider being afraid of the uninvited guest. <laughs> So the fly here is the villain, and the spider, who everybody is afraid of, is the poor little guy. Um, so the, Friday got, the spider got freaked out that there was somebody in his home, so he is the one that's saying eek, and, and, the, sp and the fly is saying, well, boo to you too. I did decide to pull out the googly eyes again, which just gives the spider the most hilarious look like so you can imagine that he saw the fly and he's afraid of sky of flies so his eyes just popped right out and went oh my god a fly <laughs> yes I have a weird sense of humor so now when you look in the background the background doesn't actually look too bad does it, it doesn't look like a crime scene at all now because I had time and this didn't take much time at all these dyes are great they just um, they, they look great um, and they don't take much time so I'm just in love with this um, Halloween um, collection. I wanted to do a, per, a, um, a green background now. I just wanted to show you that there is nothing like realistic about this at all. Like yeah you can always try to make a night nice sky but how about we don't? How about we do something ridiculous like a, a red and black sky or a, um, a green and black background. So here I am just layering some black soot on. Um, I sort of messed up there in the first bit so it just looks like a whole a solid bit of black and you can't see um, much of the green on the left hand side but it's okay it's redeemable I end up you know fixing it it's fine just mopping up that mess there and then I am now gonna cut out the spider web from red cardstock and <clears throat> yes I've never seen a red Red, red cobweb either, but look how amazing the red looks against the green. Um, there's, it looks good in white too. Look how stark the white make. It just looks really good with that green background. Have fun. <clears throat> and sometimes what I do to decide which way I'm going is I put it on and I take a photo and then I study the photo. So this is what I'm doing here. And although it didn't make any sense, I went with the funny and I did do the red cobweb. Now, there's another banner from that My Mind's Eye embellishment pack that says Happy Halloween, and that looks really good there. Um, I also grabbed another spider, and I put him in the web, um, and here he comes now. So, this is a Happy Halloween card. Um, yes, I did go with the googly eyes again, and I chose the green googly eyes this time. So, I think what's happened here is there was a major, huge nuclear reaction. Um, a green spillage of some kind and poor little spider got caught in it and he uh, saw green <laughs> literally <laughs> and he's now somewhere turning into the uh, Incredible Hulk <laughs> All right, you guys, I had so much fun making these cards. I'm really enjoying this um, so for uh, this how are you going with your challenge I hope you guys are uh, taking on my challenge and doing something a little bit different here are my two cards side to side I now realize that this is just the uh, the card front and I hadn't actually put it onto a card so I'm just about to put it onto a card now but I want you guys uh, to make a, like a funny card today like don't do uh, don't make it so literal. Don't make it so realistic. Go crazy. Do funny. Use funny colors. Um, do um, 
put a story to your character and really enjoy your art. It, it's supposed to be fun, it's supposed to be relaxing, and it's supposed to make you smile. So um, yeah, I hope you can do that. I'd love to see what you guys can come up with. So I'm just about to show you now. This is all four cards at the moment. So we've got the haunted house, we've got the owl, and then we've got the two different spider cards that I made. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you stay tuned. I've got some more cards coming tomorrow. Have a nice day, everybody.